the audiology test that deviated from best practice. I accompanied parents myself of affected children to meetings with the HSE on at least one occasion and asked the HSE official if there were any more cases apart from the 49 identified and we were told no. I was told no. We were all told no time and time again that it was the 49 cases. There are senators sitting in this room that know that this is true. I know from my experience of other scandals that the initial figure given of agencies and companies rarely gives the full picture. We now know that 60 more cases have been identified and many of these children are in the late stages of development and have gone misdiagnosed for years. In many cases there may be permanent or irreversible damage. Some of these children had already underlying uh, disabilities. I'm asking that whatever, wherever the fault lies in the review process that that be addressed so that absolutely everybody that's affected can be contacted and adequate treatment and support being been provided. We need an inquiry into this and the reason we do is that it is very, very obvious that the governance wasn't in place here, that again there was nobody accountable, nobody accountable for it and that's why we, re that's why we, uh, we need the review. Some of these, the, the 49 already, don't even have their medical card applications approved yet but the book has to stop somewhere uh, in this. So that's another failing of the Minister for Health.